Okay guys, I hope that you can hear me because I am outside and I'm taking the risk of videotaping all of this outside and then having all these noises. For example, there's a bunch of bugs like making noise right now. You can probably hear it. I don't know if they're like cicadas or what the heck they are, but they're loud. Today's video, I feel like I'm squinting a lot. I probably should put sunglasses on. Ugh. Okay, so today's video, I want to walk through like my entire fitness journey. So kind of like when it started, how it started, what programs I was doing, um, what I'm doing now, all that good stuff. But I was like, it's so nice out, I want to like go film outside, and now I'm just like squinting and can't see shit. I feel like I've talked about this before, but especially if you're just joining me on YouTube, like you might not know like my whole background. So I pretty much was an athlete my whole life, played basketball, um, my biggest regret in life is probably not playing college basketball. Um, I was recruited and then I was just kind of burnt out from playing like literally year round since I was in fifth grade. Like I almost left school after my freshman year and transferred to play basketball, but I feel like it's much harder to um, not play and then play rather than like playing in college and then deciding it wasn't for me. But anyways, that's that. Fitness was just something that came naturally because I was working out all the time through sports. Um, and when I was in high school, working out wasn't as big of a deal. I feel like kids these days, kids these days, um, are like, you know, going to the gym outside of school, outside of their sports, and like all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, be a kid. Like, you'll be okay, I promise. Like, you don't need to go to the gym on top of playing three sports. Like, I just think that's wild. But it wasn't as big of a deal then. So like, your workouts were your practices. Your workouts were when you were working out on your own, but to me working out on my own wasn't like pumping iron or like going to fitness classes. Working out on my own was like getting a certain number of shots in like a day or like working on ball handling drills. Like it wasn't, it was like sports specific workouts if that makes sense. So anyways, go to college, kind of fall off the workout train like most people do and it wasn't because of drinking, it was just because I was at like a really lame school. I mean I would like work out here and there but it definitely wasn't constant. It definitely wasn't religious. It wasn't um, anything that made me excited. Uh, it was just kind of like, oh, I'm going to go do that because I have some free time. Say, after I graduated college, I started um, doing like random workouts. I was like, oh, quick fixes. I was like, 30 day fix. Like, I'll do Jillian Michaels. Like, I think I made it through all of Jillian Michaels, um, like, what, whatever the heck they're called, like shred it, shreds shred something. I don't know, but I did all of that, you know, like I'm doing like Tai Bo like shit in my basement, which was hard. I mean, like she's, she's tough. I did have a gym membership at the time because I remember, this is crazy, I got a gym membership like my senior year of college, like back home. And I guess like I started taking body pump classes, which is a Les Mills class, um, and I did that religiously like twice a week for like almost three years. And I really, that's when I like started getting into working out more. Like I really, really liked um, pump. I liked the way I felt after. I liked that I was consistently getting stronger. I know those cicadas are going to be really loud. I also feel like I need to go get my sunglasses. I think I'm going to. This is absurd because I just feel like I'm like doing this, but I'm going to go get them. Okay. I feel much less squinty, which is great. Um, I guess I can just pretend I'm like one of those like rappers or athletes who's like such a big deal that um, I wear sunglasses when I'm doing interviews. But anyways, at least I'm outside, so I have a reason. I did body pump for a really long time. Um, I actually didn't stop going to body pump until like a few months ago. And then while I was doing body pump, um, my sister got into body combat, which is pretty much like a mix of like kickboxing, karate, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, I think. Um, and just boxing, like different stuff like that. So that class was awesome. I'm going to wait because there's a plane flying by. I guarantee you the sound is in the video. And it's like a little windy. This would be terrible if I filmed this whole video and it's just like like the whole time. But anyway, so I feel like I'm gonna have to relocate because now I guess that's like our hot water heater or like air. I bet you that shit is so loud. I guess I'm gonna go to the front porch. This is a disaster. Well, I had to change my shirt so I wasn't like floating on this white wall. I had to come inside because there were pretty much noises everywhere outside. So I have no idea. I'm hoping I can use what I put at the beginning. Where was I? My fitness journey. I did body pump. 
I did body combat, and I started enjoying going to the gym. But I was really only going to the gym for classes. Like, I wasn't, like, lifting on my own. Uh, sometimes I would do, like, a few workouts, like I found on Pinterest or something like that. Um, you know, I talk about noises outside, and then Bella is over here snorting and rubbing herself on the couch. Whenever I do something and I'm just like, maybe I was not supposed to do this today. That This is one of those times where I'm just like, ugh. I thought I was going to be so productive and there's just noises galore everywhere. But I can't be mad at her. I, I would say at that, after college, I like went through the whole phase of like doing like 30 day workouts. Like I'd find them on Pinterest or I'd find them, or I'd do Jillian Michaels or I'd do something like that. Um, and like... I wasn't really seeing results. I mean, like, I felt better that I was, like, working out, but I was like, I don't want my workout to be more than 30 minutes. It was just, like, I was just lazy. And I feel like once you fall into that, it's very easy to stay there. I guess it was the winter of 2014. I was just like, ew. Like, I would look at myself, not like I was, like, disgusting and, like, overweight, but, like, I wasn't happy with where I was at. So I was like, I need to figure this out. So I found Kayla at Zenus, and she has BBG, and, um, I was like, you know what? These girls have crazy transformations. Kayla likes basketball. I'm just going to do it. So I started BBG, which is a 12 week workout program. So I call it like a hit program pretty much. It really is a lot of like hit cardio based things, but there is strength involved because you're doing like, it's a lot of body weight strength, especially in BBG one. So in BBG one, I feel like the whole hit concept is what helps you like lose the weight and I didn't really have weight to lose however I definitely had like fat to lose so it was helping me burn that off for sure and I liked the way I felt like I was motivated to do it I was motivated to continue like it wasn't one of those things where like after like a month I gave up like I was like really loving it so it's 12 weeks so it's three months so after I finished the three months, I was like, you know what? And I bought BBG too, so that has a little bit more weights involved, and I actually thankfully had enough of those weights at home. I did BBG for the entirety at my house. So I did BBG for a little over two years. So like bench jumps were done on chairs. Um, my weights, I mean like I had weights, I had dumbbells, but I didn't have like a workout bench. I didn't have like... A BOSU ball, like when I when we were supposed to do things with the BOSU ball, I'm pretty sure I used a basketball or I used something to like balance on. No, you don't need a lot of things. Jump roping, never jump roped. The whole time. The whole time. I'm a terrible jump roper. And also like the ceiling where I was doing it was like kind of low, so I would have been hitting it the whole time. So I just did like skip jumps. So, I mean, which is like crazy to me um, to think about, but I'm just like, it's like I worked with what I had, and you know, and it worked for me. So like I felt like sometimes people were like, Oh, like, I don't have room or I don't have a gym membership. You don't need it for BBG. You really don't. BBG 1, BBG 2, and then I think I redid BBG 2. And then I think I went back to BBG 1. And then BBG 3 came out when the app came out. Um, so I was doing that. And then, you know what, I don't even know, I think I just got kind of burnt out of it, like I wasn't excited to do it anymore, so I was like, yeah, I like need to move on. I think it was the time when a lot of people, a lot of friends that I met through Instagram kind of like moved on. I mean, I've I talked about this in my intro video, but I started my Instagram after my first three months, so after my first round of BBG is when I started my fitness Instagram, and then I... Um, like kept it throughout and kept track and I made some of my best friends that I have right now through BBG, which is just crazy to me. So I will never not be thankful for BBG and everything that it has done for me and given to me and like allowed me to do. And BBG definitely introduced me into my love of fitness. So I was doing that forever. I was actually still going to body pump consistently while doing BBG. So BBG is only three times a week technically. My cardio days I would do pump because like I wanted that weightlifting aspect and I really, really enjoyed going to pump. So I didn't want to give that up. So I made it work in my schedule. When I was doing BBG, I really, really sat down and I like planned out my meals for the entire week and I stuck to it. Like I talked about this on my blog. I made a Word document and I would plan out breakfast, lunch, dinner, and my snacks. And I just stuck to it. I don't know how the heck I had that much willpower, but I did it. That was like all through teaching. I didn't have ice cream, I swear to God, for like six months. And I was just super, like, conscious of everything I was eating. And that helped me a ton when I was doing BBG, like, get 
more fit or whatever. So it is now 2017. I stopped BBG at the beginning of this year. So I started BBG like the first week of January 2015 and I stopped BBG basically the first week of January 2017. I got back from the Bahamas and I was just like, I want something new, I want something fresh. So I was just like, all right. I started like incorporating more like treat meals or more treats in general and eating just pretty balanced. Like I wasn't as like strict with like, this is how much peanut butter I can eat and like all this stuff. Grace came out with a guide. Um, Grace is Grace Fit UK on Instagram. I'll put her here. I'll put it. I mean, like, if you don't know who she is, like, hello. Um, she's amazing. She was kind enough to actually send me her guide um, when she was, like, starting it all out. And she was like, would you like to try it? And, I mean, I, Grace started in BBG, and she has this amazing support system from the BBG community that she took with her. And I really wanted to get more into lifting. I feel like a lot of people, when they leave BBG, like, want to lift. I'm, like, so terrified of, like, going to the big weight part in the gym. Like, I know everyone's like, but you're, like, a strong, badass woman. I'm like... It's still scary over there. <laughs> I mean, like, like, it stresses me out when I need something and someone's on it, and I'm just like, but I need that, and I want to use it. Shit. It's eight weeks, so basically you're doing the same thing the first four weeks. It breaks down legs, arms and chest, booty, because we all know Grace and her booty, and then back and shoulders. Back and shoulders is my favorite day. Uh, and then she would give you a cardio section and an ab section. And actually a finisher section, which is really nice because I use those still. Basically, you do those same things, like you repeat them every week for the first four weeks. And then the second part of her guide is the second four weeks. So those workouts are different, same type days. And then um, she actually reached back out to me and she was like, would you be interested in part two? I'm like, hell yeah. So I did her second guide as well, which is the same setup. I didn't do it for a solid four months, but I, I still use them here and there um, when I do like want to go lift. If I'm like, oh, I'm feeling back and shoulders today or, oh, like I need a leg day. Like I'll pull up Grace's guide. I also have Paula's guide. Um, Paula is also, she's, I guess you call it Pal's Fit World. I guess that's how you say it. Um, she's fantastic. So she like, um, her whole guide is called the um, Strong and Sexy Body Method. So one of my really good friends, Claire, has done that religiously. She has amazing results. Um, Paula is another one who sent me her guide. So, so sweet to send it to me. Um, and it's one of those guides that I, like, pick up here and there. Just so I did that, like, here and there. And that, around that time is when I started going to Soul Cycle more. I was riding, like, once a week and then, like, then, like, sometimes twice a week. And then as, like, spring rolled around... I started riding like a lot more. Like I wasn't riding like seven days a week or six days a, or a week. Um, at most, I'd be riding probably five. But um, hold on, I'm getting first day thinking about it. So when I say spring, I mean like May is when I like kind of stopped Grace's guide, um, and I really just started dedicating a lot of my time to Soul Cycle because it just made me excited and it made me happy um and I really got to know like a lot of people through it and I started bringing my friends and like they fell in love with it I was like making drives down there all the time because it, it made me excited I think the whole thing about like fitness and working out is like you need to find stuff that you love and you need to find things that excite you so soul cycle excites me so for people who are like what's soul cycle and I'm like what like are you living under a rock or like where are you from I didn't know what soul cycle was until I met Ashley through BBG but that's because I was clearly living under a rock soul cycle is a quote unquote spin class but I always have to explain to people like it's so much more than spin so soul cycle is like you ride to the beat you're in a dark room um, you clip in. Every class is literally different. Every instructor is different. The music's different. I mean, like, they have instructors for, like, whatever your taste is or whatever you're feeling. Like, you know, if I, like, need some inspiration, like, I know who I'm gonna go ride with. If I need to just, like, forget it all, I know who I need to go ride with because I have been riding so much. Uh, it's very hard to me to get out of the schedule of not riding all the time because I do love it so much, but I do drive quite a while to do it. I would still work on my legs. I would still, I really worked on like my arms still a lot um, on my off days of Soul Cycle just because like, yes, Soul works your entire body. I mean, like when people ask me like the type of workout, I'm like, you don't understand. I'm like, you're literally sweating so much. I like, can't see. Um, 
you're burning so much. I mean, you're going fast, you're like working resistance. I mean, like there are so many parts to it um, that it is an overall body workout. However, um, one part in Soul Cycle is you do arms with dumbbells, or if you're taking Kathleen, she's gonna use a towel and it's gonna be crazy. So you do arms, but like, yes, you are working your body. Um, or your arms while you're riding, but like that's the arm. So I, I wanted to make sure I was continuing like lifting and doing arm things for my body. So right now, um, as most of you know, I'm like kind of in the transition period of my life, like kind of figuring out what's next for me, um, job wise and all that good stuff. So I'm really like trying out a lot of different things and I am, um, thinking about different certifications I could be getting and really just trying to find exactly what I'm going to be doing. So with that, my workout routine is kind of like still up in the air. I'm still going to Soul Cycle a lot. Um, I plan to hopefully incorporate more lifting back into my schedule just because I definitely want to have that strength piece. I want to start, this is crazy, I want to start like dancing more. I want to start practicing more yoga on my own but I just really feel like I need some of that. Or at least like start meditating. So that's not really fitness, but like I think I need to start meditating like... <sighs> I had thought about starting Sarah. So on Instagram, she's Sarah's Day. If you don't follow her, you need to. She's amazing. Like I might like do Paola's Guide in its entirety. Uh, I will not be tracking macros. That just does not work for me. And I don't mean it doesn't work for my body, because I'm sure that it would. Um, I've tried it before, and it like helped with my bloat. But it just doesn't work for my mind and my lifestyle. And it just doesn't. It's like kamikaze flies like flying into the screen. People ask me, do you track macros? And I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> just not, no. Overall, fitness journey. Athlete my whole life. Basketball was my shit. Um, I still love it. Basketball was like the love of my life for a very, very long time. And then I moved on. Um, I was doing like those quick fixes that just didn't really do a lot for me, but it made me like start being like, I should probably start working out. And then I found BBG and that's where a lot of things happened. I don't know if I lost weight. I never weighed myself. Um, I still really don't unless I go to the doctor. So like, I, it's just not something that really bothers me. I worry more about how I feel and how I like looking clothes more so than like what the number is. I did that for a very very long time. After about like eight weeks I was, I was starting to see a difference but after like four weeks I started feeling a difference and then after like 20 weeks I think is when I really started to like truly see a difference. Around like 40 weeks of doing it is when I really really slimmed down which is what BBG does for a lot of people and then I made it to a year, and then I basically did, this is, that is crazy that I did that for almost two full years. And then I started lifting, and I started feel like, I definitely started, like, putting on muscle or putting on, I guess, a little bit more weight. Then I started going to SoulCycle a lot, and SoulCycle definitely leaned me out a little bit more because you are burning so much, and I felt like I was riding a lot. So I was definitely, like, leaning out. I felt much more, like, cut and toned. Um, and I guess I'd say, like, that's kind of where my body <laughs> is right now. I definitely need to get my eating, like, under control. Because I was, like, consistently riding and, like, just being, like, go, go, go all the time. I was like, I can eat whatever I want. And then I fear that if I, like, don't ride as much now and I start lifting again and, like, doing both, that, like, my body's just going to be like, <laughs> now I'm like, oh, my God. I see, like, a piece of chocolate and I'm like, give it to me. I hope that this gave you a little bit better overview of kind of what I was doing. Where in the road I made the choices that I made. I don't think that I've been somebody who's ever had like a super dramatic transformation. Like you're not going to look at me and be like, oh my god. But I feel as though I've gotten so much stronger. I feel like I have leaned out. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm confident in my body, which is like I think the biggest thing. Because when I used to wear like bathing suits, I'd be like so stressed out of like my love handles. I'd be like people are staring at me like, oh, like why can't I look like that girl? Like all this stuff. And that, that insecurity is why I started all of this. And then I really started to fall in love with like the feeling of like the endorphins and like working out and all that were so great that I was like, yeah, I think I want to continue to do this. So I kind of fell in love with fitness and it's the reason I quit my job, which is crazy. I just feel like 
if you find workouts that you love, if you find a program that you love, or you find a community of people that you love, or a class that you love, you know, you just need to throw yourself into that. And you will know when it's time to move on. Just like for me, I knew when it was time to leave BBG. It's like, you just never know. Um... I don't see myself stopping Soul Cycle anytime soon. Like I, like I said, I really do love that. So I think that's something I'm going to continue. I don't see myself stopping like weightlifting, and I also am open to like trying new things, which I think everyone needs to. Because like if you would have told me like a few years ago, like you're going to be doing like this workout program that's like 28 minutes, and it's got a lot of burpees and so many push-ups, like and I would have been like, what is a burpee? then I fell in love with it. So you just never know. So you should always like try something new and when it doesn't feel like it's your thing anymore, like just find something else. So that is my fitness journey so far and I can't wait for whatever is next for me. So, so leave me any questions that you might have. Please subscribe below. That would be much appreciated. I just have a lot of like ideas that are coming up. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for joining in. And I will see you next time. Whatever. What? I feel like there's something on my... I hope that has not been in the camera the whole time. And I wish that plane would hurry up. Wait, how long did that be? Wait, what is it? But, um, I think I say but, um, a lot. <sighs> this is, like, not comfortable. What am I talking about? Literally, what am I talking about?